Most often, sticker price is the sole factor that is responsible for the success of a product, irrespective of what facets it has. And who knows this fact better than the Chinese, who have been constantly flooding markets with low-cost products that instantly make life difficult for the competition. Unlike most other product segments in India though, automobiles are something that the Chinese haven't had their influence on. But now, that is about to change, because what we have here is the new Chevrolet hatchback that is developed by the Shanghai GM Alliance. Before we drive it though, let me share my initial thoughts with you. This car is called the Sail UR. You see the name comes from two well-engineered but not so successful products from GM India's portfolio, the Opel Corsa Sail and the Chevrolet Evio UR. Now, using that name sounds like a brave move and looks like General Motors India has taken its own sweet time to build up all that courage. Look at the car and you'll know what I mean. The car looks outdated even with all the shimmering polish and more so when it's going to share showroom space with cars like the Cruze and the Beat. The front fascia doesn't look as aggressive as the Cruze or as youthful as the Beat or as juvenile as the Spark. The headlights try to make the entire fascia look aggressive with the tapering design but then the sober design of the bumpers waters down the entire design. Then there are the creases around the fog lamps which look like an afterthought and something like the dings you see on the bodywork of a car that frequents public parking spaces. The shoulder line flows from bottom of the tail lights into the wheel arch, aiming to give the car a tip forward stance. However, if you look at the sloping roof line and the flat tailgate, it gives the car a pulled back look. And then you have the enormous length of the car. The side profile makes that evident. In fact, this car is only 5 cm smaller than the Swift Desire. And that gives a hint towards its roomier cabin. Look at the tailgate and you will know why I think this car looks outdated. The taillight design for example looks a lot like uh, the Figo and the taillights are mounted on either ends of the flush mounted windscreen. However, the entire design looks too uninspiring. It just doesn't look radical or even youthful like the rest of the Chevrolet cars. 